Good morning. This is Dee from the Fish and Gardeners. So today I want to talk about growing fruit trees from seed, if you have time, okay? When you grow them from seed, it'll take, you know, a bit longer than air layered or grafted. But if you want to go the cheaper route and you have time, or you want to just be testing fruit from seeds, just to see if they grow in your area, you can save money instead of paying for a tree, especially if it may not grow in your zone and you just want to at least try. I'm going to show you a couple of the fruit trees that's grown from, I'm trying to grow from seed. And this is just a little example that I'm trying to experiment, okay? Some of these fruits may not be for the zone, but I'm trying them anyway, okay? So this right here, jackfruit. Okay, so it's a small jackfruit. Okay, jackfruit seedling. So I planted that at 7, 4, 23. So a jackfruit from seed typically takes three to four years and is 90% of the parent. So at the, um, it takes about 90% of what the parent does. So it's going to be very close from um, to the parent tree as far as the fruit taste. And that's smelling like I had. This is where it started. They seem to grow pretty quick. So that's one that I'm just trying to experiment over seed. Let's go to another one. Logan. Okay, so the Logan from seed will take up to six years. Of course, if you have get an air layer, it'll be two to three years, and this Logan has already fruited. Let me go ahead and step back. And this is the Logan seed. So as you can see, I planted that 6, 16, 23, and those are two Logan seedlings, and that's the Logan tree. So far, this does very well in the 9B zone, Central Florida. So like I said, this is for, you know, people who, if you don't feel like spending money and you have time, or maybe you have a lot of trees and you just want to experiment. This right here, you can actually go to the store and probably get a Logan seed, you know, just a fruit, and take the seed, throw it in a pot, and save money if you don't feel like spending money on you know, this is a cheaper route. Trying to show you some cheaper route. This is Kamito. This is the star apple. Right? The star apple takes five to ten years from seed, but it can also be done by cuttings, which is a lot will be a lot quicker. Okay? And as you can see, see, see that? Seven four. So that took a little longer to um germinate. And, um, yeah, this is the other star apple that I have in pot. So that's another that you can grow for seed. And like I said, it'll take five to ten years if you want to wait that long. Um, or if you want to experiment to see if you can grow a star apple. So remember, a lot of these trees I'm experimenting with. So make sure you are doing your research. And let's go to another tree. All right, Red Lady Papaya. She's one of my biggest. Go ahead and look right down here. And this is the ceiling. Okay, and as you can see, so this one right here, Red Lady Papayas, they will flower in four months from ceiling and will give you fruits within seven to 11 months. So this is also another one if you don't feel like spending money. And it grows between 8 to 10 feet. I actually have two. And I'm going to go ahead and give you another one. This is a cranberry hibiscus.
All right, this cranberry and biscuits grows from cuttings. So basically, I just take a cutting and I'm gonna bring you to the cutting and it um, roots very quickly. Okay, and you see that date? That's what the cutting did. Now I actually have two cuttings in here. I just put this one in later. But look how tall that cutting is. And the good thing about a cranberry hibiscus is, you know, mine's usually last, but in case it does freeze, you can just take a cutting before it gets too cold, put it in some dirt, and just put it in your house somewhere away, you know, where it's not so cold. I mean, mine seem to have survived through the cold, so I'm quite sure they obviously some type of cold tolerance with that. So these are just some fruit trees that I'm bringing to you that if you don't feel like paying for grafted trees, if you don't feel like paying for air layers, and if you have patience and you just put them in, and I don't do a lot. All I did was put it in the dirt and every once in a while water it. So that didn't require a lot. So if you want to try some exp experiments like this, you can do it again. Go ahead and make sure that you do your research. Okay, I'm just trying to bring you the cheapest ways that you can grow fruit trees. And if you want the extra, which ones will grow seeds. So I have some more later on that I'll show you, tell you about that you can grow with a seed or a cutting. Hopefully you enjoyed this video content. If you do, please hit like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And each and every time I download a video, you will go ahead and receive a notification. And please share. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.